Hey, hey, this is Matthew Belmont giving you another trailer reaction. This one is called Christopher Robin. Now, three years ago, I heard on CartoonBrew.com saying they're going to make a live-action Winnie the Pooh ver mo movie. So, uh, yeah, a live-action Winnie the Pooh movie. How is this going to work? Well, let's see. Uh, uh, will there be any people there? I mean, I heard already... As of now, they're do Disney's doing live-action anime, live-action versions of their feature films. But Winnie the Pooh, a movie. Well, how's that going to work? Well, I heard it's going to be called Christopher Robin. Okay, and I've seen a lot of Disney movies that became live-action, like uh, Alice in Wonderland, Maleficent, Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast, and they've all became and Cinderella. They've all became uh, live-action features with characters that make him go, eee! Even Doug Walker did his uh, live-action Disney review of it, of these films, I explained. But Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh, let's see how that works. Is that? No. This doesn't look like a Winnie the Pooh movie. Maybe it's about the life of the author. Yeah. Come on. What's the movie? Ah, Beauty and Beast. Big box office hit. Skipped out on it. Ooh, new adventure. I don't know about you, but uh, this is like complete respect to the author, right there. This is like complete respect to the author. I mean, early this year there was a Peter Rabbit, and it looked less like a Anne of Green Gables type story, and more of a Bugs Bunny clone, and um, it's enough to make uh, the author, Beatrix Potter, want to turn in her grave, but this is respect to the author. And I might as well say they did a good job. I mean, Jim Cummings, with well, the original voice of Winnie the Pooh, that's good. What do you expect? Patrick Stewart? Have been, ha, and have the guy, tr have Christopher Robin turn around and say, Pooh? Christopher Robin, I'm happy to see you. It's been a long time. I'm cracking up. I don't see no cracks at all. It's all smooth to me. <laughs> That's my uh, uh, Patrick uh, Stewart impression. <laughs> I know, sorry, but that is good respect to it. And uh, and the poo in this one looks like uh, the poo in the books, the way he was depicted in the book illustration of the 20s mixed with the uh, cartoon from the late 60s and 70s. And I, I might as well say this is such a charming movie, and I'm going to uh, watch it. And um, so would you want to watch this movie? I mean, think about it. I mean, if it deviated... If, I'm glad that they didn't deviate. It didn't make it like a complete uh, goofy Looney Tunes uh, flat-out comedy, or they, or Guillermo del Toro is on the reins and ah, I'm gonna make it like in the style of uh, Island of Doctor Moreau or Frankenstein. No, no. And the good thing Guillermo del Toro is not touching it. This is pure respect to the novel, to the books, to the original source, to the cartoons, and I'm gonna watch it. Are you going to watch it? 
Uh, let me hear a comment down below. So this is Matthew B. Lamont saying, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.